welcome back to the series. Um, this episode we're just going to um, discuss alternative ways of hosting a web page and deal with some feedback that I received. So one user or subscriber mentioned to me that there's a typo in my personal site, and there is. Views are my. Of course, I was in a hurry, so I forgot to clarify what I was talking about. So we need to fix that. I can't fix it in all the videos because it would require remaking all the videos, but so clearly views are my own, right? I, I don't represent anybody but myself on my personal weekend time. Professionally, of course, I, I represent my employer, um, but um, not on my private time. So today I'm going to show you in this video just how to change views on my own. So we're talking about Cognitive Dave at github.io. So this is GitHub pages. So there's actually, there's still code involved, but it's, it's this is very simplified. So Cognitive Dave github.io is GitHub pages. So if you don't want to go in for all the, the server, Nginx, reverse proxy, header, response header, prototypes, protocols, and security, you can bypass that whole thing and just use, <coughs> you just use um, GitHub pages. <coughs> I've seen it done and it can be very nice. So this is a fork of a GitHub repository from Barry Clark. Um, so Barry Clark kindly went ahead and figured out how to do all this. So I forked his work and basically changed it to suit myself. So it's a Jekyll, um, a Jekyll um, organization. So the about page is a markdown script. So what we want to do is edit about me. So with, with GitHub pages, the markdown is essentially just straightforward page, right? So there's a page, and when, when it serves, it doesn't look radically different. So here's views are my. So I want to finish that sentence because this is all thrown together, you know. Um, so what you want to do is edit the file. It's very simple now compared to using you know, Flask at the back end and Node.js or Vue.js at the front end. Here, this is, it's not quite what you see is what you get because you're still a lot of um, formatting, but views are my own. That's all I wanted to say there. So I wanted to add one single word. So th this video series is, is my let's say, contribution towards all of the people who helped me over the years by tutorials or showing me how to do things. So this series is about making sure that I document everything that I learned and providing it back. So views are my own. I, I have no perspective on um, wider industry or uh, sponsorship or, or subscriber lists. Essentially, everything I learned over about five years is in this series. So views are my own. So we want to commit that. So you can just make sure you check your work. See, clearly I didn't. So now we can see, uh, picture takes a while to load. Views are my is now replaced with my own. Yeah, so this is GitHub, right? So, so I can go ahead and say, fix the typo, highlight it. By kind user. That's about clarifying views are my own. Right on GitHub. Commit the change. Now this page will be instantly updated. Views are my own, right? But if I go to Cognitive Dave, there will be a slight delay.
because there's a kind of a refresh on the server every few minutes. But so in the series, we're working with proper web service with the Flask um, defined uh, web service using Python 3. And we're using UWSGI, and then we're using Nginx. So, so, so that's an industrial strength web application. But and you know that's that's for an application. But if you're just using static content that doesn't change, like blogs, well, GitHub Pages is a good is a good way to go. So about that image is going to have to be fixed. Views are my own. So we just changed that. Very simple. This is GitHub Pages. I have mixed feelings about it, um, but for today, this was how I took the feedback from a user who just wanted to improve the thing for everyone. Views are my own. Put the one word in there, checked it, and then by saving GitHub Pages automatically picks up the change, and now that's fixed. So again, part of the series is to highlight these different techniques. So you don't have to be a programmer in order to um, use, um, you know, have your own website, have your own portfolio, express yourself. You can just use GitHub pages or there are uh, lots of blogging around. So my blog here, um, the latest blog here simply talks about making this video series and how how is that how is that been done uh, if you go back to here and now you go to posts so every post is a markdown document so the so blogging to video, so we went from blogging to v-blogging. So there's the article there on the screen. And so it's just the same as, as the about page. So with the Jekyll, um, with the Jekyll server, this is scaffold, which gives you the the layout is post, so blogging to video, that's the title, the category is video. So it's it's not quite what you see is what you get, so it's not as easy to to just be a blogger because you know you have to um, hash hash here is like a large title. So there 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 is you can run a Jekyll um, server on your local machine and you will get the um, the what you see is what you get type uh, editors, but this is okay for me. So, so GitHub Pages, it's something I use. Um, it's it's the main site for cognitivedate.io. Um, so hopefully, you know, sharing this, showing you how to make an edit on a website, GitHub Pages will show you that you don't have to be a programmer. You don't have to get involved in code, but you you might not want to choose GitHub Pages if you don't want to be in the more technical writing with tags and stuff. Thanks for listening. I hope this was of some benefit.